We start our centering. So I'm going to take a three count inhale and breathing in low belly, mid belly, all the way up into the throat. And then open the mouth and intentionally exhale, release something. Can you do that again? Take a big deep inhale and then breathe in low belly, mid belly, throat. And then can you take it one sip of air higher, clearing out the cobwebs, whatever it is up inside the brain, and then exhale deeply. The practice, today's focus is to be present to God, to people, to the moment. And the goal is a practice. That's why this is called a yoga practice. Your mental and emotional reset throughout the practice is slow down, breathe, come back to the moment, receive the good as a gift, accept the heart as a pathway to peace, abide. I'll be repeating those six steps throughout our practice today. But again, remember the goal is a practice, not perfection. We slow down, we breathe, we receive the good as a gift, we abide. Everyone, let's set our own focus word for the practice today. Maybe it's a sentence, maybe it's one of the words I just read over you. Breathe that in. And then open up, exhale, let like go of something. Everyone take the arms out in front of you. Clasp the hands together. Intentionally turn the palms and press out and around through the upper back. Inhale. Exhale, lift the arms up. Work to lengthen the spine. Release the hands back behind you. Good, everyone. Drop the right hand down. Lift the left arm up. Inhale. Big deep exhale, circle the arms around, come to the other side, bend that opposite elbow, really working to stretch through those obliques. Reach the arms up and around one more time on each side. Inhale and exhale to the other side. Good. Now reach both arms up again and then lean forward for me, stretching through the glutes. Big deep inhale in, the hips will lift off the block. And then slowly walk the hands back, scoop the arms back up. And take an exhale. I want you to remove the block now, but still stay in this seated butterfly position. Good. Now walk the hands out in front of you and inch the hips back an inch to two inches. You're gonna get a really good stretch release today in the neck, our shoulders our low back and our hips. You should feel all of that releasing right now. Work to press the forehead down. And then inhale, scoop the arms back up. Extend out your left leg. Good, and then reach over to that leg. Inhale, bring the arms up and come over to the bent leg. Bend the arms like you're going into a push-up. Now, the flesh of that straight leg and your kneecap is going to want to pop up. Can you take your hand and actually push the kneecap back, push the hip back, and work to sit the stretch and stretch out that hip to the inner thigh of the groin? Good. All the way back up. Switch legs for me. Good. Maybe you take your hands, bring that foot in a little bit closer. Good. Let's stretch out the bent leg first this time. Big inhale in. Big exhale, press to straighten the arms. And then big inhale down. Big exhale, press. Good, walk the hands over to the straight leg. Scoop the arm up and over. And then turn the body to face the left. Right here, we shake out through the head, the neck, the shoulders. Anything we need to shake out to release. No expectations in the practice today. We breathe. We slow down. Big inhale in, scoop the arms up, both legs extend out, 
Ooh, my inner thighs are tight. Can you reach out and forward? Scoop the arms out in front. Big inhale in. Big deep exhale. Slowly walk the hands back for me. Bring those knees all the way together and then turn and come into all fours on your mat. We're going to start with our cat cows. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, press the palms into the ground. Exhale, round. Keep coming back to your intention, your focus work. Inhale, you look up. Exhale, you round. Good, everyone. First child's pose. Pull all the way back. Walk the hands out in front of you. Move the hips right. Move the hips left. Take a big deep inhale in. Exhale. We dance, we move. We put our faith into motion. Our prayers into motion throughout our practice today. So they come all the way back up for me. Good. I want you to slowly lower down. We're going to start to stretch out the back, the spine, the our cobra. Elbows hug in, your palms press in, top of the toes press in. Cobra, you are low. Up dog, you're all the way up. You do what feels best for your body. We're going to come down for an inhale. We're going to come up on an exhale. All the way down, inhale, elbows hug in tight. Press. One more time, we stretch out our hip flexors and our abdominals. Big inhale, big exhale. Good, everybody come to all fours for me. Let's turn the left hand down, reach the right arm up, come into a modified side plank. Reach to stretch to lengthen. Lift the top foot up, try to reach for it with your hands. Inhale, like you're kicking it up, and exhale. Inhale, and push the hip up. One more time, inhale, and exhale, lengthen. Turn through the center and then turn to the other side. Right hand down, left arm up. Lengthen the left arm, lengthen through that straight leg. Breathe in, open the chest. Reach for the big toe. Extend to open. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more. Big inhale. Big exhale. Beautiful work, ladies. Come back to plank. All the way to your strong plank here. I want to turn into a side plank here, just turning the toes, lifting and lengthening through the body. Lots of poses today to straighten our bones. Big inhale, side plank, one of the best. Turn to the center. Other side, lift. You can keep on that single knee if that feels better for you. One big inhale. One exhale, come back to plank. Everyone slowly lower down. You can drop the knees and come into the vinyasa. Here, inhale, either up dog. Exhale, come to knees, press back into your first downward facing dog. Alternate your right heel down. Your left heel down. Can you turn both heels to the left? Move both heels to the right. Push into the palms. Press both heels back and down. Shake the head. Drop to knees. Take just a breath here. Rest in child's pose. Big inhale in. I want to see your back rise as you inhale on the child's pose. Exhale, allow the forehead to drop like a little something. One more breath. Big inhale in. And a big exhale. So they come back for me to those at all four position. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. I want you to lift your right leg high. We're going to open up and stretch our hips. Let's make some knee circles with our right leg. So that right knee is bent. You're going to make about five circles in one direction. Then you'll make five circles in the other direction. You can even I'm going to try to work to straighten that leg. So good to move that hip ball in the socket. Good. Nice. Everyone switch sides for me. Lift the left leg. Bend that knee. Start to work the hip circles in an intentional direction. Press into your palms. 
I know you'll start to feel the heat in the shoulders here. Awakening the body, awakening the mind, and the spirit. One more big hip circle in any direction that feels good to you. Press back into your heels. Good. Inhale. Lift the right leg one more time right now and bring it in between the hands. Cover that knee into the chest. Drop the foot down in between your elbow and lunge position. Good. I want you to hold right here, stretching into those hip flexors. If you need to put your back knee down, or that's a definite option. Your block should be close in case you need to use it here. Everyone, I want you to round through the spine. Exhale, arch, look up. Inhale, lift. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. This cat cow motion, but really stretching the back of the hips. Good. Now drop the left knee down, straighten the right leg, half split. Big inhale in. Big exhale. You can come to what we call gorilla arms here. If it's starting to bother either your wrist or you need a little more height. Flex the foot, bend the elbows. Straighten, bend the elbows, and straight. Push forward for me into that low lunge position. Your leg can be down or it can be straight. Left hand down, right arm up. Lunge twist. Push your right big toes into the mat. Take one big inhale in, one big exhale. Circling arm back and around. I want you to now pull back to that half split, but maybe come down a little bit further. Maybe you come to sit on your left quadricep muscle, or maybe you have full split or you want to work more of a full split in your practice. You do you. This is your time on your back. One big inhale in, fullest expression here. One exhale. Good, everyone, push forward for me. Left hand goes down, look over your right shoulder, put your right hand on your right hip. Good, you're gonna bend your left knee. Maybe you work to catch your left big toe, or maybe you just bend it a little bit to stretch. Breathe in, drop your right shoulder blade back and down. Breathe in and exhale, release. Good, straighten that leg one more time. Push forward for me, low lunge. Cover the right knee in. Come into plank, everyone. Hold that strong plank. Squeezing the quadricep muscles, pushing the hands in. Remember, we breathe, we slow down. Good, slowly drop down for me, either cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, scoop the left leg up. Bring it in between your hands. Come into that low lunge. Square the hips. You can drop the knee or keep it lifted, round the back. And exhale, low back. Inhale, scoop. Exhale, stretch the neck here. Really drop the chin to the chest. And look up. Can you do one more, allowing the shoulders, the other back to rise, and then the hips to sink? Good. Everyone drop the knee, pull back, half split. Take a big inhale in here. Drop the head, square the hips, bend the elbows. Breathe in. Exhale. Good. Push forward for me. Right hand goes down, left arm turns up. You can keep that right knee on the ground, or you can straighten it in a little lunge twist. Energy in your top hand, no matter what the legs are doing. Breathe in, no neck tension. Exhale, circle the arm all the way around. You all look beautiful today. Pull all the way back, half split. Fullest expression of left leg split here. Maybe pull all the way back to sit. Maybe you use your blocks and you just try to work into a deeper straight leg split, half split, whichever feels better for you. Big inhale in and exhale. Everyone, take that tension out of your neck. Shake it low. Good, breathe in, exhale. Come forward for me. Look over that left shoulder, left hand on your left hip first. Look at that right big toe and tell it what it's gonna get ready to do. Let's get ready to lift up. Good, and then push forward. Drop your left shoulder blade back and down. Stretch that quad. 
Breathing it in, getting this good full twist to the spine and a great stretch in the front of that muscle. Breathe in. Exhale, release the hand, the foot. Come into that low lunge, press into those hips, throw the toe under, lift, left knee hugs in, plank, hold, squeeze the quads. Good, everyone. You can drop the knees down or come into that full vinyasa here. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down low. Can we do that again? Plank. Slowly lower down. Inhale. Scoop the chest forward. Exhale. Down dog. One more time for me. Strong plank. Elbows hug in. Knees can come down or you can come through the top of the push-up. Exhale. Down dog. Shake the head side to side. Turn off the corners of those lips, ladies. Come back to your focus or your attention. There's four corners of your mat. Stay right here. Big inhale in, scoop the right leg up. Big inhale in, hit that low lunge position. And now turn your back foot, we're coming into warrior one. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, come all the way down. So warrior one, your back foot is turned, vinyasa. Plank, up dog. Down dog, that back foot is turned to a 45 degree angle. Lift the left leg. Bring it in between the hands. Turn the back foot to a 45 degree angle. Scoop the arms up. Exhale down. Turn, flow. Each one of these, we're going to try to get a little bit deeper in that lunge. Downward facing dog. Float the right leg up. Bring the knee in between the hands. Drop the foot down. Turn the back foot. Float the arms up. Now bring the hands together. Exhale all the way down. Good. Maybe you take a single leg on the mat. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Left leg comes in between the hands. Turn the back foot. Scoop the arms up. Warrior one. Left leg. Exhale down. Good. Flow through. So this sun salutation here. We're wanting our form to be strong. We're wanting to slow it down, but the intentional is to move through the right leg and the left leg or on your own breath. We're repeating. It's a form of meditation where we over and over again continue. There's no right or wrong. You're doing an amazing job. Inhale, continue to move and dance through this salutation through Warrior One. Each one is a little deeper. Bring the arms all the way up. Beautiful, Kathy. Awesome, Tana. Yes, Tracy. Awesome, Tana. Good. Beautiful arms. Good. Continue to move. Each time the hips open a little bit more, you're building heat in the body, creating this inner fire with every inhale. Exhale. Pushing back into your heels, stretching through the Achilles and the ankles. Continue to move, to dance. Stay with this. Breathe. Stay in the moment. Receive the good as a gift. Abide. Breathing in. Letting go. Good. I'd love for you to go through one more on each leg and then meet me in a winding child's pose. Hips are open. Shoulders are definitely warm. Beautiful work, ladies. Inhale. Exhale. Good. When you are ready, head into that last flow. And then the you on the night, child's pose. Wide knees. Sink in. For two breaths, put your palms up to the ceiling. Psalm 62. My soul finds rest in God alone. My hope comes from Him. 
So they flip the palms back down. Take one big, deep, intentional inhale in. And then take an exhale, releasing tension in the hips, the jaw, the forehead. So they come back for me to that all fours position. You bring your knees all the way together now. Come into downward dog with knees together. We're going to start the standing flow portion of our practice. So we'll take our right leg up. We'll slowly bring it in between the hands. Come right back into that warrior one position. Inhale, bring the hands up and together. Drag the hands right back through the center. And then turn the back foot a little bit more and deepen that arm to a warrior two. So everybody, take your right hand to open up your right knee. Sink it a little bit lower. Then scoop the arms up, squeeze the glutes. Exhale down. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Lift your palm over your warrior. Inhale, hold this. Breathe in, tilt the heart upward. Feel that great stretch in the right side body. Take tension from the neck. You can also become a peaceful warrior. Bend more in your right knee. Slowly come to warrior two. Cart wheel the arms down. And you can always do like that. Woo! On something like that. When we hold it, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Close the left leg up. Slowly bring it in between the hands. Turn the back foot to a 45. Scoop the arms up, warrior one. Drag the hands into the heart center, warrior two. Sink in deeper. Left knee opens. Check to make sure your left knee is directly on top of your left ankle. It's not jutting out of your big toe. Everyone, awesome, lower. Good. Scoop the arms up, squeeze the glutes. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Flip the palm reverse. Inhale, bend the front knee. Let that right hand come back further on the right leg, bending more on your front knee. Tilt the heart upward. Turn out the corners of your lips. One inhale. One exhale. Warrior two. Cartwheel the arms down. Take the vinyasa flow through. Strong. Maybe you take the quads off the mat to the up dog now. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, float the right leg up. So they bring it in between the hands. You rise up to warrior one. Bring the hands in the heart center. Open it up to warrior two. One, float the arms up. One, exhale. One, reverse warrior. Hold here. Straighten your right leg. It's called reverse triangle. Squeeze the quadricep muscles. Cartwheel the arms all the way down. Triangle right hand down. Left palm up. Push the hips forward. Big inhale and great place to use your block. We'll be on the inside of your right foot. Good. One inhale. Squeeze the quadricep muscles. One exhale, bring your left hand down to meet your right. I'm going to use my block and move it to the other side. Turn my left foot forward, pyramid. Inhale. Exhale, so on pyramid stretch, both hips face forward. Pick up your big toe, that right big toe. Stretch into that Achilles, that hamstring, your IT band. Square the hip. Everyone, move your left hip a little bit more to the left. So just feel that difference in the stretch. You just turn the left hip, pulling that right hip back. Beautiful, drop that front foot down. Put your hands out in front of you, maybe on a block or the ground, press into standing L. Arms are straight. Your right knee can be bent. Once you feel stable, try to straighten that right leg, flex your right foot. Good. Option to stay here for a breath or take this into a full standing split where that right leg pushes in, the left leg reaches up, and you grab your right ankle with your right hand. Inhale. One exhale. Beautiful work, everybody. Slowly bring your left foot down to meet your right. Scoop the arms all the way up. Big inhale. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, look up to the straight spine. 
Exhale, fall down. Step on your leg and jump your feet back, plank. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You know where we're going. We're moving to the left leg. Left leg lifts. Comes in between the hands. Warrior one. Drag the hands into heart center. Deeper stance. Warrior two. Good. Scoot the arms up. Straighten both arms. Set both legs. Exhale down. Flip the palm. Reverse your warrior. Hold. One inhale. One exhale. Now straighten your left leg. Feel that deeper stretch of the left side body. Cartwheel the arms down the triangle. Beautiful work. You do that fast, it does look like a cool ninja move. So maybe you can try that at home. Inhale, put your hips forward for me, everyone. Energy in your right hand. Beautiful job. Turn your right hand down. Bring your left hand on the left side of your left foot. Turn your hips. Pull your right foot up about a foot. Pyramid. Bend the elbows. Straighten the arms. Maybe you use your block here. Bend the elbows. Straighten the arms. Lift the big toes off of the mat. Lift, lift, lift those big toes up. Beautiful work. Drop the big toes down. Pushing down into standing L. Left foot is down, your right leg lifts. Square your hips. Pull the left hip back. Flex your right foot. Squeeze down, straighten both quadricep muscles. Strengthening our arms. Good. Everyone, standing split or one more breath in standing L. Work to grab the left ankle with the left hand. Big inhale in, big exhale. Beautiful work, everyone. Slowly bring that foot down to meet the other one. Scoop the arms all the way up, inhale. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, look up, half lift. Exhale down, step off your leg and jump your feet back. Flow through, inhale, scoop the chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. So they come in between the hands, warrior one. Bring the hands in the heart center. Open it up to warrior two. Scoop the arms up. If you know where we're going, you can do it. Take it at your own pace. Reverse the warrior one time. Hold, straight the front leg. Carpet the arms down. Good. We're in that triangle. We turn the hands forward, come into pyramid, inch the left leg up. Big inhale, big exhale, directly into standing L. Are you guys ready for some fun? Take your hands off the mat, come into warrior three. Take flight. Take a big deep inhale in, one more breath here. Slowly stand up for me. Try to keep all the balance on that one leg. Bring the left leg up, tree. Good. Look up. Open the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Everyone, put those feet down. Awesome. Circle the arms back around. Not an easy sequence, you guys. Look strong to do it. Take one big inhale, scoop the arms up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, look up with a straight spine. Exhale, fall down. Step walker lightly, jump your feet back. Flow through, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg lifts. Bring it in between the hands, you rise up, warrior one. Bring the hands into heart center, open it up, warrior two, lower. One scoop of the arms up, breathe in. Turn off the corners of your lips, exhale down. Flip the palm, reverse. We dance, we move, straighten that front leg, put our faith into motion. Cartwheel the arms down, triangle. Good, right hand comes down, you turn into pyramid. Bring the right foot up, hold the pyramid for one breath in. One exhale, standing L or standing split for one full breath in. One full exhale. 
slowly bend that left knee a little bit, step up. We're coming into warrior three. Pull the palms back behind you. Take flight like an airplane. Slowly lift the chest, find that little spot coming into tree. Good, open the arms, lift the chest. Big inhale, you can take the hands out wide and open, or you can bring them into heart center. Awesome, everybody, come on down. That was great. Shake out those ankles. Take a big inhale. Big exhale, let's just rinse out one time with one flow here. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, look up with a straight spine, hamstring feeling so much better. Walk, step or jump back into your strongest plank. Lower down, up dog. Exhale, now dog, hold. Two breaths here. I'm just gonna feel the strength, the energy. Remember, the goal today was a practice, not perfection. Thank you for practicing. So we go to the front of the mat. Step, walk, or lightly jump your feet up. Everyone, inhale, really lengthen through the spine. One of the best exercises to strengthen the spine right here, pop it. Exhale, bend the knees, scoop the arms up. Mountain pose, bring the hands right back by your sides, close your eyes. Feel all tip toes in the ground, roll the shoulders back and down. Take your hand and put one hand over your heart. One hand on your belly. Here we do it now, and just in the middle of the practice, have a moment, take it some breaks. One inhale in. One exhale. So they take the legs out, they can open the arms, eyes back up. Take the legs out really wide. We're first coming into what's called goddess pose. So elbows are out, take goal post arms over the chest. And then slowly bend the knees like a plie squat. Take the hands down. Left shoulder pushes down. Drop the hips. Hold, breathe in, look up to the ceiling. Good. And now right shoulder pushes down. Good. And then do that two more times. Inhale. Let the hips sink. Exhale. Good. Everybody. Slowly come down, lower, lower, lower yoga squat here. Big inhale, and I have a lot of people after class Tuesday ask me and tell me, I can't, I can't do low yoga squat, like I just, they were here. So what I suggested was take the block to the highest level and move your feet up a little bit. And just know if you can't get into it, it's not like something's wrong with me. We're all just hard by the little bit. This is painful for me, okay? My hips are tight. Everyone, push out. Left hand down, right arm up. Open. Switch. Right arm down, left arm up. Good. Everyone, hands come down. Lift up to the top of the toes. I want everyone just right here first. We're going to be working into crow. However, I want you to start here, top of the toes. Hands press in, everyone. Nestle your knees up onto your tricep, closer to your armpits. Look forward to the front of your mat. Pick up right leg, your right foot. Put it down. Left leg picks up. And down. Everybody, you can continue to keep alternating like that, or you can try to bring both feet up right, then left. Try to bring your big toes together. Look forward. And then work to straighten your arms. And then when you've had enough, come back to low yoga squats. Open up here. So left hand down, right arm up, and take a half wide. Just really open the shoulder, right arm, and loose back around. If you wanted to take your left hand and scoop it under, you could. I don't reach, but maybe you're still. Good. Come back to center. Use the elbows to press out to open the knees. Right hand down, left arm up. Scoop the left hand back behind. Maybe take that half line here. Breathe in. We're really doing a shoulder opener there. Take tension out of the neck. Go back to the other spot. One more time. We work for pro. Everyone, this time, turn your feet forward. 
Put your hands down, grip the ground. You come up to the top, your toes on as your calves ignite. Roll forward for me, lean. Maybe you lift your right. You put it down and maybe you lift your left. You feel your abs start to kick in and then you work for both. Awesome work, guys. Maybe you are done with pro. Step your feet back for me into plank. Great job. Inhale, our last big awesome flow, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths right here. Press your palms in. Lift the quadriceps up to the ceiling. Squeeze, lift and lock the lower belly. Breathe in. Over the mouth and exhale. One more time, inhale. Big exhale. Slowly drop the knees for me. You are going to need your block, so let's grab it. Circle the knees around. Good. Everybody, bring the block in between the knees. Squeeze the block, flex the feet. Let's make some head circles here. Getting the blood flow to the muscles helps them to recover more and more quickly. Lift the spine. Arms up. We're going to reach to the right side. We're going to reach straight up. We're going to reach to the left side. We're going to reach straight up. Inhale. Squeeze the block. Inhale. Exhale. Lift and lengthening. Good. I'd love for you to do two more. Inhale. Good. Love hearing you breathing. Inhale and exhale. Now hold. Can you bring your hands down? Palms up. Try to lift the feet off of the mat. Pulling into the low belly, you're going to roll the shoulder blades back and down. Keep that pinch in half. Good. Okay, try to straighten your legs for me for a few breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. It's a full body shake. Inhale. And exhale. Let's hold one more. Lift the chest a little bit higher. And slowly come down for me. Everyone, scoot forward on your mat for me just a little bit. We're going to do one more exercise with our blocks. So come all the way down to your back. Good. Push your palms into the ground. Good. Lift the hips. Squeezing the block as hard as you can. So good to help reset the spine. Good. Push the palms in. Squeeze the blue cheeks. Pull the big toes up off of the ground. Shoulder blades roll back and down. No neck tension. Everyone, one big deep inhale in. One exhale, release the block, come into a reclined butterfly. So your knees open, your arms open. The block goes out to the side. Just allow the hips to open. For one inhale. One exhale. So they take those feet, plant them back down on the mat. Push the hands in. Lift the hips off the mat again and bridge. Take the hands underneath the hips, clasp them into a bind. Work to push the hips up, clasping the hips still, allowing the knees to go straight ahead. Don't let them splay out. Lift, breathe in for five, four, three. Release the hands. We lower down to four counts. Four, three, two. One, take the knees up into tabletop. Hands press against the knees, knees press against the hands. Come into this bed rock position here. Breathing in for three, for two. And then on the one, can you let the knees lay out again and you come into that recline butterfly, elbows are out in that position, and which we call. Your head left, bring your head right. Good. I'd love for you to take the knees back into the chest, tuck the knees in. Flex the feet, maybe make some circles with your ankles. And then slowly let the knees fall to the right side. Right hand moves on top of the knees, left arm goes directly out to the side. Work to let that shoulder of the straight arm relax. Turn the head to the arm, nice and 
Take a deep inhale in and an exhale. So we let the knees roll through the center. Hug them back in though through the chest, stretching the hip flexors. Bring the knees to the left side, left hand on top, right arm, palm up. Again, right shoulder blade, just move it around a little bit, just to tell it the length out. Turn the head to the arm and slip it. Just visualize yourself like a washcloth. Bringing out whatever it is you need to bring out. Let it go. So I take the knees back into the chest. One hug in. Then bring the legs out wide, loop the hands around the outsides of the feet, holding onto the pinky toes, you're coming into happy baby. You allow the elbows to press out to open the knees, and then you rock right. Rock left. Open the hips with the elbows. And then allow the knees to flail out to the sides. Maybe even use your hands to make just a few circles with them going out to the sides, allowing those hips to really like really release and let go. And then you hug the knees intentionally in. Bring the nose up into the knees. Breathe in for three, two. On the one, I want you to land on your mat. Palms up. Feet are up to the side. You're in this complete resting position here. Allow your body to have this time. Allow yourself to be open to the presence of God. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. My hope comes from him. He is my rock, my salvation. He is my fortress, I will not be shaken. Sink in, let me Practice. 
keep coming back to the moment. Love is so much sweeter. Abide. So we may be back on your mat, seated, how we started, but without your walk. Drop your head down. You can keep your hands on your knees. Or you can take your hands to heart center and prayer, whatever feels most natural to you. Grateful for the bodies that we have for the time that we make. Let's take one more big deep inhale in together, sealing our practice. Big deep inhale in. And then a big deep exhale. Awesome job, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here today. That was an awesome practice. We're sweating. <laughs> sweating, all the above. Guys, I'm going to bring you around a little wipe. If you'll wipe off whatever you used on a block, that would be great. If you used a mat, that would be awesome. Um, appreciate all y'all being here for our birthday week. It was exciting and great, and we just love you guys. I'm going to do a little giveaway. We are, we are at noon today. We're going to do a little lunch and learn. If you want to jump on virtually, the link's in your email. Guys, lots of water today. That was, um, I know that was, you did a lot of twisting, a lot of balance moves, all the things. That would be great. Awesome. Well, you know, these in the back were new. I'm so happy, you guys. All of our yogis in here, so proud of y'all. Yeah. Awesome. Glad that you were here with the girl. Man. Glad that you made it. 